What's up everybody? It's me Sierra G and welcome to my channel. So today's diff Damn, out the gates can't talk. So today's video is going to be a little bit different from my other ones. I won't be doing a story time today. But I've been realizing through my TikTok that I've been getting a lot of questions about how I do my makeup. And um, actually for a lot of my videos, my makeup is pretty much the same. So I thought why not just do a makeup tutorial and go ahead and get that out of the way. So let me know what you think about the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on your notifications for this channel. So let's get started. So for the first product that I'm going to use, I like to kind of prep like my skin and lips and everything because I have super dry skin. So I use mint juleps. I don't know if this hand thing works. I feel like my camera is not gonna focus it anyway. So I just go in and I use just a little bit of it. Um, I use it maybe like once or twice a week. I have that everywhere. <laughs> but I just rub it on my lips. And it's actually edible. So after I like finish scrubbing and get, my lip, get all the dry skin off my lips, I just kind of like lick off the rest. And if you ever see me looking somewhere else, I'm just looking it into a mirror because doing makeup is already hard enough to begin with. So I want to make sure I do this makeup tutorial and my makeup actually comes out somewhat decent. Also tell me why the day I tried to do a makeup tutorial, my skin starts breaking out. Like I know y'all can't really tell because of like the lighting and the distance, but my skin has been going through it. And of course it's on the day that I need to do a makeup tutorial. So the next thing I like to do is use my Lancome uh, sunscreen cream. Um, I've had this for actually quite some time and I use it pretty much every day. And it's lasted me about a year or so. That's pretty nice but yeah it has sunscreen in it and it really helps because I get I have dry skin and I do quite a bit of makeup so I want to make sure that it doesn't look cakey and that it doesn't sit weird on top of my face I like to make sure my skin looks really smooth and glossy So kind of just like massage it into my skin. So the next thing I do is go in with my Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Filler. I think that's what it's called. Oh, Instant Pore Eraser. And I just like put a couple of dots here and there. I don't do a lot because I actually don't have big pores, but. I'm also planning on taking some photos and stuff today, so it kind of just helps a little bit. I always do it at the bottom before I add any other products because I actually like a glossy look and this kind of like mattifies everything, but yeah. Also, I am not a makeup artist. I've just been doing my makeup for a long time. And so if I'm doing something wrong and whatever, do not judge me, do not crucify me, I'm doing my best. Okay, <laughs> so the next thing I do is like I said, I like really dewy skin. So I use my Makeup Revolution Super Dewy. It is the best thing that I have had in a long time along with the next product I'm gonna use. Um, I just use a little bit. Um, what I have noticed with this product though is that the little droplet thingy, it never works. And I've had multiple of these bottles and they never really do what they're supposed to do but I managed to get like the product out and it works just fine but um like I said I have like really dry skin and I also like the dewy look so it helps me look dew without me looking oily and um yeah it's definitely one of my favorite products I think it goes with my skin really really well and um yeah once I started using it I just couldn't stop I even use it through like the heat of the summer also by Makeup Revolution, I use this liquid illuminator. Um, it's for face and body. I've used it for photo shoots before on like my entire body. 
and I also use it daily for my face. Um, even in hot weather and I'm starting to sweat with this underneath my makeup, I kind of look more like I'm glistening. It is a beautiful thing. Also, the applicator that I use is silicone. So yeah, I just rub all this on my face. Boom. Now that I'm doing a makeup tutorial, I realize that I'm like super boring and have no personality. <laughs> so the next thing I use is um, some Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. I don't use a lot of it. I just kind of get it to get my little my little pimple spots that I'm trying to cover up. I don't know if that's the right thing to do, but I don't care. It works. And then I just go in with my Maybelline 24 hour foundation. I swear by this foundation, I've been using it for years. Um, I use shade 320, which it's honey. And if it's in the summertime, I kind of mix it in with one of my darker foundations that I have. I either use my Il Maquillage or my um, Fenty. I mix it in with those, but I kind of just, Go in. Also, in future videos, I'm definitely going to be trying out more um, Korean makeup products. I know that there was an all black skincare line that just came out, and I'm really, really excited to try it. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. There we go. Now I feel like all of my blemishes have been covered up and also I kind of put the foundation on my lips too I know it makes them look a little ashy but I promise we'll take care of it later my camera hasn't been focusing as well as it should lately so every time I like press record I get super nervous because I've already recorded like a piece of this video and it came out super blurry and I had to wipe my shit off and do it all over again so I'm like please lord and I've also done a makeup tutorial like this on my TikTok live before, but um, I don't know. I don't get the most views on that and I'm tired of doing the same makeup tutorial. So now I can just direct people here and you don't got to ask me no more questions. So the next thing I do is, um, hold on, I have to pick a bugger. Mucos. So now I go in with some powder foundation and it's a uh, mineralized skin finish natural by MAC. Wow, I really was not about to be able to even say that. And I don't use a lot. This has also lasted me a really long time. And also all the brushes that I use, um, it is from a Morphe brush set that I got from Ulta. And I use a little bit of concealer. Um, I'm pretty sure I just got this from one of, from like a hair shop because I need a concealer and I didn't have time to stop by like Ulta or like a Walgreens or whatever so I got this and I just put three little dots. I never use like too much concealer under my eyes because I don't really have like dark circles or anything, but sometimes I have a little bit of eye bags, so it kind of just gets rid of that, lifts up my face a little bit. Okay, so you might be wondering why my eyebrows are already done, and it is because my camera died and I had no idea that it did. And honestly, I don't think y'all need a tutorial about my eyebrows because my eyebrows never really look good anyway. Yeah, so just do your eyebrows if you're curious about what product I use. I use Anastasia Beverly Hills Pomade and I use the color Ash Brown. I still kind of wanna. Sure. 
So next I go in with my bacon set setting powder from Morphe and I have it in color Banana Rich. I'm like really messy with my makeup. I really don't be caring. I realize sometimes when I take my time, it looks exactly the same as when I did it in like an hour, well, le like less than an hour. I usually take an hour to do my makeup, so yeah, less than an hour. And then next I use my contour. I use Hula Caramel from Benefit. I love this because, you know, it also lasts a long time too, which I really appreciate. And I just go high up on them cheekbones. And I love how it blends, and I think it looks really nice with the products that I use. And usually if I'm making TikToks, I'm rushing my makeup anyway. Because I'm probably like getting ready for work and then I'm like making a couple of TikToks right before work. So I'm kind of surprised that I've been getting so many requests for makeup tutorials because I'm like that is literally when my makeup is looking its worst. <laughs> jawline action I always make that ugly face whenever I'm like focusing so for all of the for the whole eyeshadow look I use um, this palette it's by Colourpop it's called California Love See, it's orange and has some palm trees on it. This is literally my favorite go-to palette. First things first, what I'm gonna do is um, go on with the color Gold Rush. It's kind of like a, you know, like a, hmm, like a reddish, brownish color. And I go in with like my bigger, eyeshadow brush fluff it out and I kind of put it on my outer crease I put it all over it so there that's what that looks like and then I'm just gonna go in on the other side So that's what goes on for the outer crease. And then after that, my second color that I go in with my inner crease is Highway 1. It's kind of like, um, there's two browns. It's kind of a light brown and a dark brown. And this one is like a light, um, like milk chocolate brown with like some gold sparkles in it, which I love. And I put it in my inner crease. really blend that in. I feel like my makeup has gone through so many different phases because I've been doing my makeup for so long and I feel like my makeup didn't all the way start looking good until my 20s. I look back at my old Instagram pictures and I'm like, why? In there, I kind of also bring it down a little bit into like the middle of my eye, kind of like a like a sideways like V. And then the last thing I'm gonna do whenever it comes to my eyeshadow is use my little flat eyeshadow brush, and I'm gonna use the color Surf Rider, and it's kind of a mix between the outer and inner crease color, except it has like a little bit more of like a metallic-y feel to it. Metallic-y, is that a word? 
Also, am I even actually describing this right? And I bring it right into my inner crease, bring it out, and I put it just a little bit on my under eye, right there. And there we go. My eyebrows are definitely sisters and not twins. They never want to do the exact same thing. And it makes me really sad, but I'm also over it because I will never win when it comes to my eyebrows. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is go in with my eyeliner. And for what I use is Maybelline Master Precise All Day. This is probably like my favorite eyeliner. I'm also realizing I like a lot of Maybelline and so I freehand my wings. I don't do anything special. I just start kind of in the middle of my eyelid and bring it out. And I make like a little triangle right So this is the finished on this eye. Okay, so for my lashes, um, I accidentally threw away the case, but these are House of Lashes. I get them at Ulta. I think they're like 12 bucks a set, but they're really great. I love them. I'm obsessed with them. This is like my like third time rebuying them and they last a good time. I reuse them and clean them and like do the best I can to preserve them. I remember when I used to do competitive dance when I was a kid. Some of the girls who went out their parents' backstage were like, Sierra, can you help me do my eyelashes? And I was like, yes, girl, I got you. Uh, eyelashes have been like my favorite thing for a very long time. All right, so there we go. And what I do to kind of like make sure my lashes and my falsies are blending is I definitely put some mascara at the bottom of it because I just put so much eyeshadow and stuff. You kind of like see the eyeshadow part and then you know, you'll see like where the eye eyeshadow like gets on the lashes and it doesn't like blend very well. So the mascara that I use is 4D Mascara by Misha. I am obsessed with Misha Cosmetics. They have such great products. Um, they have a really cute lip stain that I love to use also. Um, I think I'll talk, I think I'll do my own separate video for Misha Cosmetics, but this shit is the bomb. All right, so for my final touches, um, I just go in, uh, I just go in with like my e.l.f blush um it has no specific color on it so you can use whatever color makes you feel good and i just bring it right on up and then from there i use my 
Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Nicole Guerrero palette. I would turn it around so you can see the colors, but I accidentally shattered it and I do not want to spill it. But I go in with Daydream right here on the tip, on the tip of like my cheekbone and blend that in. And I just realized I didn't contour my nose, so I'm going to do that really quick. And then right at the tip of my nose, I add a little bit more Daydream. For my lips, I just go in with the nude color. I've been using Clinique. And then I finish it off with ColourPop Pretty Fresh Setting Mist. It is so great, I love it, and it finishes off my beauty look. And it's super refreshing. y'all this is my finished look um thank y'all so much for watching and getting ready with me and let me know what kind of products that y'all want me to try i'd be so happy to do more videos for you um don't forget to like subscribe and comment and turn on your notifications for my channel and follow me on my tiktok and my instagram and i'll leave that in the description box below thanks for watching see you next time